Let's discuss the Bladder Channel Points Overview, Part 2. Specific points according to the channel pathway in numerical order. Bladder 1, Yahweh meeting point with the stomach, triple burner channel, and yin chow mai, yang chow mai, small intestine, gallbladder channels, dumai, local point for the eyes. Okay. Bladder 2 is for the adjacent point for the eyes. Bladder 7 for adjacent point for the nose. Bladder 10, window of heaven point, important point for eliminating wind, local point for the occiput and cervical spine. Bladder 11, the way meeting point of the bones, sea of blood point, yaw way meeting point with small intestine channel, triple burner, gallbladder channel, dumai, adjacent point for the cervical spine. Bladder 12, Yahweh meeting point with Dumai. Bladder 13, Bakshu point of the lung, adjacent point for the lungs. Bladder 14 is the Bakshu point of the pericardium, adjacent point for the heart. Bladder 15 is the Bakshu point of the heart, adjacent point for the heart. Bladder 16 is the Bakshu point of Dumai. Bladder 17, the Bakshu point of the diaphragm. Way meeting point of the blood, bladder 17 to bladder 23, local points for the thoracic spine. Bladder 18 is the back shoe point of the liver, adjacent point for the liver. Bladder 19, back shoe point of the gallbladder, adjacent point for the gallbladder. Bladder 20 is the back shoe point of the spleen, adjacent point for the liver. Bladder 21, local point for the stomach. Bakshu point of the stomach. Bladder 22 is the Bakshu point of the triple burner. Bladder 23 is the Yao Wei meeting point for the Dumai, local point for the kidneys and lumbar region, adjacent point for the bladder, urogenital region and iliosacral region, Bakshu point of the kidney. Bladder 24, local point for the lumbar spine. Bladder 25, Bakshu point of the large intestine. Adjacent point for the lumbar spine. Bladder 26 is the local point for the lumbar spine. Blood, bladder 27, Bakshu point of the small intestine. Adjacent point for the small intestine. Local point for the iliosacral region. Bladder 28 is the Bakshu point of the bladder. Adjacent point for the bladder. Local point for the iliosacral region. Bladder 30 is the regional point for the rectum. Bladder 31, bladder 34. Yahweh meeting points for the GB channel. Bladder 32, regional point for the urogenital region, local point for the iliosacral region. Bladder 34, regional point for the rectum. Bladder 35, local, local point for the rectum. Bladder 38 to bladder 47 adjacent points for the thoracic spine. Bladder 39, lower Hussey point for the triple burner. Bladder 40, Hussey point earth, lower Hussey point for the bladder. Gawu command point of the back and lumbar region. Madan Yang heavenly star point, distal point for the thoracic and lumbar spine as well as for the iliosacral region. Local point for the knee. Bladder 41, Yahweh meeting point for the small intestine channel. Bladder 43, adjacent point for the lungs. Bladder 49, local point for the hip. Bladder 50, local point for the hip. Bladder 52, local point for the lumbar region. Bladder 54, local point for the hip. Bladder 57, Madan Yang, heavenly star point. Distal point for the rectum, distal point for the thoracic spine. Bladder 58, luo connecting point, distal point for the shoulder and iliosacral region. Bladder 59, C-clef point of the yang chow mai, Yahweh meeting point with the yang chow mai, distal point for the lumbar spine. Bladder 60, Jing River point, fire. 
Madanyang heavenly star point, distal point for the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine, distal point for the occipital and lumbar region, local, local point for the foot, regional point for the toes. Bladder 61 is Yao Wei meeting point for the young Chiao Mai. <clears throat> Bladder 62, opening point for the young Chiao Mai. Sun, Sun Si Miao ghost point, Yao Wei meeting point for the young Chiao Mai. Local point for the kidney, local point for the foot, distal point for the lumbar spine and hip. Bladder 63, she cleft point, Yao Wei meeting point for the Yang Wei Mai. Bladder 64, Yuan source point. Bladder 65, shoe string point, wood. Sedation point, distal point for the occiput, adjacent point for the toes. Bladder 66, Ying spring point, water. Bend point, five paces point. Bladder 67, Jing well point, tonification point. General location, health. The medial branch of the bladder channel <clears throat> runs from, from bladder 11 below the spinal process of the T1 to bladder 30 level with the fourth sacral foramen 1.5 June lateral to the midline. Memorization help for the medial branch of the bladder channel. Bladder 11 to bladder 17, the second digit of the point number corresponds to the level of the respective thoracic vertebra. For example, bladder 13 is located below the uh, spinal process of T3. Bladder 18 to bladder 21, second digit of the point number plus 1. For example, bladder 19, 9 plus 1 is located below the spinal process of T10. The outer branch of the bladder channel runs from bladder 41 below the spinal process of the T2 to bladder 54 below the spinal process of S4 level with the fourth sacral foramen trichun lateral to the midline. Memorization help for the lateral branch of the bladder channel. Bladder 41 to bladder 46, second digit of the point number plus one, for example, bladder 42, two plus one corresponds to T3. Bladder 47 to bladder 49, second digit of the point number plus 2. For example, bladder 47, 7 plus 2 corresponds to the level of T9. Bladder 50, second digit of the point number plus 12. So needling, the back shoe points are also commonly needled transversely, subcutaneously towards the spine. This allows the patient to lie in a supine position during the Needle retention. The needles can be securely secured with tape. Thank you for your attention. Gallbladder 7, Chi Pin, Crook of the Temple, a point of the eye system. GB7 is located in a depression on the level of the apex of the ear within the circumauricular temporal hairline, approximately at the junction of a horizontal line through the apex of the ear and a vertical line along the posterior border of the temple anterior to the ear. How to find? Locate GB7 by palpating for a small depression anterior to the apex of the ear at the circumauricular temporal hairline. The point is located approximately at a junction between a horizontal line through the apex of the ear and a vertical line along the posterior border of the temple anterior to the ear. For orientation, TB20 is located directly superior to the apex of the ear. Needling is 0.3 to 1.5 soon transversely or subcutaneously in the direction of the occiput or towards the site of the disorder or pain. Actions, indications, expels wind, benefits the mouth and jaw. Special feature, meeting point with the bladder channel. GB7 can subdues liver yang for headache, dizziness, blurred vision. Opens the mind's orifices for disturbance of willpower, lack of motivation, and speech difficulties. It is the crossing point of GB and bladder. This point can be effective for pain in the temporal areas, promotes clarity of mind and spirit, 
useful for toothache or neck pain, connects to the mouth and jaw. At gallbladder 7, the meridian forms another angle to negotiate the terrain between, behind the ear, another place where the information within the chi of the gallbladder can become stuck. This point benefits the mouth and jaw. A reminder that having linked the eyes and ears so far on its journey, the gallbladder meridian can benefit the mouth through which decisions can be issued when the timing is deemed exact and correct. When the wood element is out of balance, these decisions may be issued more as a proclamation, barked, or conversely, whispered in timidity. Chipin is also used for neck pain from any cause, whether an external invasion of wind or when we have a stiff neck as a result of being out of joint or step with the world. As another point that traverses the brain, it can be used to enliven the functioning of the gallbladder's role in maintaining clarity of mind and spirit. The meeting with the bladder can benefit the eyes and both meridians nourish and refresh the brain. Both can prompt clear thinking and the bladder can assist the gallbladder's tendency to get stuck along its convoluted meridian, helping with lubrication and moving the chi on. GB7 benefits the mouth and jaw. Disperses swelling, eliminates wind and relieves pain. Clears heat, can be used for neck pain, particularly when movement of the neck is restricted and sudden loss of speech. GB7 is for fogginess of mind and spirit, causing frustration. For infantile convulsions, swelling of the cheek, locked jaw, clenched jaws, deviation of mouth and eye pain in the temporal region for retching and vomiting, toothache, and tooth decay. Thank you for your attention. Let's now have the points, the second part of the points overview of the kidney channel. Points according to region. For the local points of the foot, we have kidney six. The knee, we have kidney 10. Adjacent points in the foot, we have kidney seven. In the toes, we have kidney six. For distal points, for the throat, we have kidney six. For the tongue, we have kidney six. For the kidneys and the bladder, we have kidney three, kidney seven. And for genital urinary region, we have kidney three. Specific points according to the channel pathway in numerical order. Kidney one, the jingle point, and the wood point is also the sedation point. Kidney two, the yin spring point, the fire point. It is also the jiao hui meeting point with the yin chao mai. Kidney three is the shu stream point, an earth point. It is the distal point for the kidneys, bladder, and urogenital region. It is also the yuan source point of the kidney. Kidney four is the Luo connecting point. Kidney five is the Shi left point. Kidney six is the opening point of the Yin Shao Mai, the distal point for the tongue and throat, the Jiao Hui meeting point with the Yin Shao Mai, and the local point for the foot. Kidney seven is the distal point for the kidneys and the bladder, the Ji River point, which is also a metal point the tonification point of the kidneys and the regional point for the foot. Kidney eight is the shik left point of the yin chao mai, the jiao hui meeting point of the yin chao mai. Kidney nine is the shik left point of the yin wei mai, the jiao hui meeting point with the yin wei mai. Kidney 10 is the husi point and the water point of the kidney, the bend point of the five faces and the local point for the knee. Kidney 11 to kidney 21, the Jiao Hui meeting points with the Chong Mai. Kidney, uh, the general location help. Kidney 11 to kidney 21 are all located 0.5 soon lateral to the midline. Kidney 11 to kidney 15 are spread on the five tune distance between the upper border of the pubic symphysis and the umbilicus. They are spaced 
at one tune intervals from the upper border of the pubic symphysis to four tune above it. Kidney 16 to kidney 21 are spread on the eight tune distance between the umbilicus and the sternocostal angle and they are spaced at one tune interval from the level of the umbilicus to six tunes superior to it. Kidney 22 to kidney 27 are all located two tune lateral to the midline. Kidney to 22 to 26 are located in the fifth to the first intercostal spaces. Kidney 27 is located on the lower border of the sternoclavicular joint. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss the pericardium channel points overview part two. Points according to region, local points and P7. Adjacent point, there's none. Distal point, the tongues. Tongue, P8, lung, P6, heart, P4, P6, spleen, P6, uh, thoracic and epigastrium, P6, foot, P7. Specific points according to the channel pathway in numeric disorder, P1, way meeting point with liver, triple burner, gallbladder channel, window of heaven point, P3, lower Hussey point, water. P7, C cleft point, distal point for the heart. P5, Jing River point, metal, important point for eliminating phlegm, misting the orifices. P6, Luwu connecting point, Gawu command point for the thorax, opening point of the Yin Wei Mai, distal point for the heart spleen, thorax, and epigastrium, important point for coming the shen. P7, U1 source point, shoe stream point, earth, sedation point, sun si miao, ghost point, local point for the hand, distal point for the foot. P8, ying, spring point, fire, bend point, five paces, sun si miao, ghost point, distal point for the tongue. P9, Jingwell point, wood, tonification point. Thank you for your attention. Now let's go to the points overview for the triple burner channel. Tonification point is Sanjiao 3. Sedation point is Sanjiao 10. Ferrari point is Sanjiao 6. Sanjiao 3 is used for ear problems, tinnitus, deafness, upper back pain, allergies. Sanjiao 5 is very good for strengthening the Wei Qi, immune system, and also for psychological defenses. Sanjiao 6 is um, good for constipation, intestinal issues, skin problems. Sanjiao 7 for confusion and senility. Sanjiao 10, neck swelling, scrofula. Sanjiao 17, is a local point for the ear. Specific points according to their function. Yuan source point is tripal burner four. Luo connecting point is TB5. Shi cleft point is TB7. Associated back shoe point is bladder 22. Associated front move point is Ren5. Jingwell point, metal point is tri triple burner one. Ying spring point or water point is TB2, shoestream point, wood point, tonification point, TB3. Jing river point, far point, pen point, five faces, TB6, Hussey point, earth point, sedation point, TB10. Opening point of the Yin Wei Mai is TB5. Chao Wei meeting point with the Yang Wei Mai and the Jibi channel is TB13 with the Yang Wei Mai and the GB channel, TB15 with the GB channel, TB17 with the SI and GB channel, TB20 with the SI and GB channels, TB22. Of other channels with the TB channel, SI12, bladder 11, SI18, SI19, do 14, REN12, REN17, stomach 12, GB21, GB14, GB11, GB6, GB5, GB4, GB3, 
GB1, SI9. Window of heaven point is TB16. Modern Young Heavenly Star point, none. Points according to region, local points for the show uh, for the ears, TB21, shoulder, TB14, and TB15. Adjacent points, temporal aspect of the head, TB17, eyes, TB23, ears, TB17, jaw, TB17, shoulder, TB13, and TB15. Distal points, temporal aspect of the head, TB3, TB5, for the ears, especially TB3, TB5, hypochondrium, TB5, TB6, cervical spine, TB8, cervical spine and shoulder, TB5, for the shoulder, TB1. Specific points according to the channel pathway in numeric order, TB1, or Jingwell point, metal point, distal point for the shoulder, TB2, Ying spring point or water point, TB3 is shoe stream point or wood point, tonification point, distal point for the temporal region and the ears, local point for the fingers, numbness and pain. TB4 is a Yuan source point, local point for the hand. TB5 is Luo connecting point, opening point of the Yang Wei Mai, distal point for the temporal region, the ears, the cervical spine, the shoulder, the elbow, and the hypochondrium. Regional point for the hand and fingers. Triple burner six, Qing River point or far point, pen point, five faces, distal point for the hypochondrium. TB7 is a sheet cleft point. TB8, distal point for the cervical spine. TB10, pussy point or earth point, sedation point, local point for the elbow. TB13, Zhao Hui meeting point of the Yang Wei Mai and the Jibi channel. Adjacent point for the shoulder. TB14 is local point for the shoulder. TB15, Zhao Hui meeting point of the Yang Wei Mai and the Jibi channel and also a local point for the shoulder. TB16, window of heaven point. TB17, Zhao Hui meeting point of the Jibi channel, adjacent point for the temporal region, the ears and the jaw. TB20, Zhao Hui meeting point of the SI and gallbladder channels. TB21, local point for the ears. TB22, Zhao Hui meeting point with the SI and GB channels. TB23, adjacent point for the eyes. Thank you for your attention. Let's now discuss the second part of points according to region. Local points on the forehead, we have GB14. For the head, the temporal region, we have GB8. For the head, occipital region, we have GB20. For the ears, we have GB2. For the cervical spine, we have GB20. For the neck and shoulder region, we also have GB20 and GB21. For the gallbladder, we have GB24. For the hypochondrium, we have GB25 and GB26, GB27. For the hip, we have GB29, GB30. And for the knee, we have GB34 and GB35. And for the foot, we have GB40. For the adjacent points, for the head and temporal region, we have GB20. For the ears, GB8 and GB20. For the cervical spine and shoulders, we have GB21. For the lumbar region, we have GB25 and GB30. And for the hip, we have GB31. For the knee, GB33. For the foot, GB34. And for the toes, GB38. Next are distal points. Distal points for the head and temporal, temporal region is GB43 and GB41. For the eyes, GB37 and GB41. For the liver, GB34. For the gallbladder, GB40. 
34, GB40. For the hypochondrium, we have GB38, GB34, GB43. For the cervical spine and hip, we have GB39. For the hip, we have GB41. Specific points according to the channel pathway in numeric order. Let's start with GB1. It is a jawway meeting point with the small intestine and the triple burner channels. GB2 is the local point for the ears. GB3 is the, is the jawway meeting point with the triple burner and the stomach channels. GB4 is the jawway meeting point with the triple burner and stomach channels. GB5 is the jawway meeting point with a triple burner, large intestine, and the stomach channels. GB6 is the jawway meeting point with a triple burner, LI, and stomach channels. GB7 is the jawway meeting point with the bladder channel. GB8 is the jawway meeting point with the bladder channel, the local point for the lateral aspect of the head, and the adjacent point for the ears. GB9 is the jawway meeting point with the blood with the blooded channel and the win window of heaven point. GB10 is the jawway meeting point with the blooded channel. GB11 the jawway meeting point with the bladder and SI and triple burner channels. GB12 is the jawway meeting point with the bladder channel. GB13, the jawway meeting point with the young way mai. GB14, the jawway meeting point with the young way mai and triple burner stomach and large intestine channels. It is also the local point for the forehead. GB15 is the jawway meeting point with the young way mai and the bladder channel. GB16, the jawway meeting points with the young way mai. GB17, the Jawway meeting point with the Yang Wei Mai. GB18, the Jawway meeting point with the Yang Wei Mai. And GB19, the Jawway meeting point with the Yang Wei Mai. GB20 is the Jawway meeting point with the Yang Wei Mai, the Yang Chao Mai, and the triple burner channel. It is the local point for the occiput, the local point for the neck and shoulders the local point for all disorders of the head and sensory organs and for the brain. It is the adjacent point for the lateral aspect of the head and the ears. GB21 is the Jawway meeting point of the Yang Wei Mai, the triple burner and stomach channels, and is also the adjacent point for the neck and the shoulders. GB23 is the Jawway meeting point with the bladder channel. GB24 is the associated front knee point, the Jawway meeting point with the spleen channel and the Yang Wei Mai, and the local point for the gallbladder. GB25 is the front knee point for the kidneys, the local point for the hypochondrium, and the adjacent point for the lumbar region. GB25 is the Jawway meeting point with the Dai Mai, and the local point for the hypochondrium. GB27 is the Jawway meeting points with the Daimai, the local point for the hypochondrium. GB28 is the Jawway meeting point with the Daimai. GB29 is the Jawway meeting point with the Yang Chao Mai and Daimai, the local point for the hip. And GB30 is the Jawway meeting point with the bladder channel, the Madanyang Heavenly Star point the adjacent point for the lumbar region and the hip and the local point for the hip. GB31 is the adjacent point for the hip and GB33 is the adjacent point for the knee. GB34 is the Husi point or earth point of the gallbladder channel. It is also the Hui, Hui meeting point with the sinews, the lower Husi point of the gallbladder, the modern young heaven star point, the distal point for the liver, gallbladder, and hypochondrium, the local point for the knee, and the adjacent point for the foot. GB35 is the chic left point of the Yang Wei Mai. 
the jaw weighing metal point of the yang weighing mai and the local point for the knee. GB36 is the chic left point. GB37 is the Luo connecting point and the distal point for the eyes. GB38 is the Jing River point and the fire point. It is also the sedation point, the distal point for the hypochondrium. GB39 is the Huey meeting point with the marrow, the distal point for the cervical spine and the hip. GB40 is the Yuan source point, the local point for the foot and the distal point for the gallbladder. GB41 is the shoestring point, the wood point. It is also the pen point of the five faces, the opening point of the daimai, the distal point for the temporal region and the ears, and the distal point for the hip. GB43 is the yin spring point, the water point. It is the tonification point of the gallbladder, the distal point of the lateral aspect of the head and the hypochondrium. And finally, GB44 is the jingle point, the metal point of the gallbladder. Thank you for your attention. Let's discuss the points of the eye system. G20, GB20, Hong Shi, Wind Pool. Location at the lower border of the occipital bone in the depression between the origins of the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle. How to find patient's position, prone sitting or supine supported by a pillow so that the occipital region is accessible. Starting at the midline, glide with palpating finger along the lower border of the occiput, crossing the bulge at the origin of the trapezius muscle until you reach a depression the size of a finger pad. Locate GB20 in its center. Located at the same level is D16, bladder 10 is located more medially and inferiorly. Needling needle with the patient's head bent forward and the tip of the needle pointing inferiorly. Depending on the position of the head, insertion towards the tip of the nose or the contralateral orbit. 0.5 to 1.2 tune. Caution, in a slim patient, do not needle deeper than 2 cm. The vertebral artery is located at a depth of approximately 4 cm. Action syndications eliminate wind, benefit, benefits the head, clears the sensory organs, opens the channel. With tonifying needle technique, strengthens the marrow and the brain, according to Mashosha. Special features, meeting point with the triple burner channel, Yang Wei Mai, Yang Xiao Mai, major point for all wind disorders, very important point for disorders of the head and eyes. Expels exterior wind in aversion to cold, fever, body aches, occipital stiffness, and ache. Extinguishes interior wind and vertigo, wind stroke, hemiplegia, lock jaw, deviation of the eye and mouth, epilepsy. Subdues liver yang in headache, dizziness, blurred vision, brightens the eyes in blurred vision, Diminish night vision, redness and pain of the eyes, redness and pain of the outer cantus, excessive lacrimation. Benefits the ears in tinnitus, deafness, black ears, clears heat, nourishes marrow, and clears the brain. GB20, located at the nape of the neck, occupies a pivotal position pivotal position between the head and the body and is one of the preeminent acupuncture points to treat all diseases of the head, brain, and sensory organs, especially the eyes. Wind, a young pathogenic factor whose nature is to harass the uppermost and therefore most young part of the body. Maybe of two kinds. First, exterior pathogenic wind, which attacks the most superficial portion of the body, and secondly, inferior wind, which has its origin in disharmony of the liver. 
as its name, wind pool, implies GB20 as an important local point to treat both kinds of wind disease affecting the head. GB20 has a strong action on the eyes and nose and to a lesser extent the ears and is indicated for red and painful eyes, visual disorders, lacrimation, nosebleed, rhinitis, nasal congestion, and discharge. Tinnitus and deafness, whether due to interior disharmony or exterior wind, by virtue of its connection with the young linking vessel and hence the governing vessel and of its action of pacifying interior wind, it is also effective in awakening the brain and can be used for such symptoms as the sequelae of wind stroke, loss of speech following wind stroke, epilepsy, and loss of memory. An important point for the eyes, particularly where there is liver disharmony, either from blood deficiency, in which case it can be tonified or to clear liver fire. Crossing point of GB, uh, triple heater, young chow mai, heel vessel, and young wei mai linking vessel. First symptoms brought on by wind such as eye or ear problems, consider for localized back of the neck, headaches, or migraine caused by stress and tension. This point can bring clarity to the body, mind, and spirit of the patient, clears the brain, and sense orifices. This is a powerful point and should be used with caution. Thank you for your attention. Now let's go to identification of patterns and treatment for cough. So as we have mentioned uh, before, we shall classify coughs into acute or chronic. Acute cases are usually characterized by fullness, while chronic cases may be of the full or empty type. Fullness and emptiness, however, often combine. Zhang Chi Bin says in the complete book of Qing Yue, coughs of external origin are very frequent and are characterized by some deficiency within the fullness. Hence, one must tonify somewhat as well as expelling pathogenic factors. In coughs of internal origin, there is some fullness within emptiness. Hence, one must clear and moisten simultaneously. So the patterns discussed are the following. For acute, we have exterior, invasion of wind cold, wind heat, and wind dryness. For interior, we have lung heat and phlegm heat, lung phlegm heat. For chronic, for full, we have damp phlegm in the lungs, phlegm heat in the lungs, phlegm fluids in the lungs, liver fire insulting the lungs, empty, lung chi deficiency, lung yin deficiency, lung dryness. Acute means a cough of a few days or at most a few weeks duration. The most important fact to establish when seeing a patient suffering from acute cough is whether the cough is external or internal. All acute coughs are originally due to invasion of external wind, but the external pathogenic factor may become internal in only a few days while the cough is still at the acute stage. The identification of patterns according to the four levels provides the clinical framework for the symptomatology of invasions of external wind turning into interior heat. For example, within the four levels patterns, invasion of exterior wind heat may cause a cough together with shivering, fever, aversion to cold, body aches, and a floating rapid pulse. If the exterior wind penetrates into the interior, it gives rise to the pattern of lung heat with a barking cough together with high fever, thirst, sweating, and a big pulse. Although the patterns of the four levels initially start with an invasion of wind heat, wind cold may also turn into interior heat in the lungs, so that at that stage, the identification of patterns according to the four levels may be used also for invasions of wind cold. Acute lung heat with cough in the course of a febrile disease may therefore derive either from wind heat or wind cold, although the former is more likely. Thus, when presented with a patient with acute cough, the crucial distinction must be made between exterior or interior cough. A, apart from many other symptoms, this differentiation may be made very simply on the basis of the patient's feelings of cold or heat. If the patient shivers and feels aversion to cold, and this feeling is not alleviated by wrapping up, it indicates an exterior pattern, that is, the pathogenic factor is still on the exterior. 
So let's take a look at this figure for invasions of wind in the four levels patterns. As we all can see, for wind heat, so we will have to consider the four levels like way. At the way level, there will be acute, uh, this is considered acute, exterior cough from wind heat. Uh, chi level, it's acute, interior cough already from lung heat. Then we have the yin and blood levels. For cold heat, six stages. Uh, we have uh, Tai Yang stage, acute exterior cough from wind cold. And this is synonymous to the way uh, level, way, way stage of the four levels. Yang Ming, Xiaoyang, Tai Yin, Chao Yin, Chui Yin. If the patient feels aversion to heat and is generally hot, very thirsty and restless, it indicates an interior pattern of heat. That is, the pathogenic factor is in the interior and it has turned into heat. In such a case, the presence of cough, breathlessness, some chest pain, and possibly flaring of the alanasi indicate the location of heat in the lungs. After establishing from its character whether a cough is exterior or interior, we must differentiate the pattern further in each case. If it is exterior, we must ascertain whether it is wind cold or wind heat. If it is interior, it is due to lung heat, and we must ascertain whether there is just lung heat or lung phlegm heat. So here we have the patterns in acute cough. So again, you need to distinguish between external and internal. So under external, um, you have to find out if it is hot or cold. So for internal, it's usually hot. So determine if there is phlegm or no phlegm. Thank you very much for your attention.